Hello people, uh, today we have the part 2 of Falling Asleep on Them by Dorothy Floofs. I found this on Tumblr. Um, if you want to read the original fanfiction, I'll be leaving a link in the description below. Um, also, if you ever have any requests for fanfiction, just leave them in the comments or go to my Discord and drop it over there. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say for that. If you enjoy, please like, comment, and if you are new here, please subscribe. <laughs> and if you did subscribe, welcome to the family. Let's get out right into the video. You need to treat the wise and implicit function of X here. Curl's voice strode into the bedroom as he tutored Kenma with his calculus, a class he already took around his first year at Nekama. It amazed you how he remembered it making it look so easy, though he had to read through Kenma's textbook to refresh his memory. The fan blew around his room, keeping it cool as the three of you sat in a spacious room, getting all the math for an upcoming exam drilled into your head. It had been like this for the past two to three days, without their practice taking too much time. Hiro had been tutoring the two of you since the end of junior high, it is still now in his third year. Every time there were upcoming exams, he made sure the two of you were familiar with, enough with the content to do well. You yawned for the ninth time, placing your minds, feeling your mind spin as your eyes closed, and hot tears streaming from your tired eyes and down your cheeks. Why are you crying? Crow glanced over, his arms and legs crossed as he sat up straight. No, I'm just tired. I didn't sleep well last night. You pouted, resting your chin on the table, seeing your notes up close. Sleep well tonight, then. Your tests are coming up. He glanced over to Kenmo. Also, finish your practice problems I made for you. You poked your forehead, getting a groan out of you. You huffed out a deep breath and continued doing your practice problems, only having a few left. The sounds of your pencil working on your notebook began to drag, your eyes struggling to stay open. You could feel your head swaying in little circles as you refrained yourself the best you could to stay awake. You needed to finish the problems or else you would have to stay up late again to study more yourself. Girl's attention sh shifted to see you, the way you moved in his peripheral vision. Your pencil and hand no longer doing any more work he had set for you. You gave in, no longer able to stay awake anymore. You desperately needed sleep. Just as your head was about to collide with the table, Kuro's hand caught your forehead, the back of his hand being the only contact made with the, wood, the wooden table. How long did you stay up for? He asked himself, even though it was directed toward you, but there was no way he was going to get an answer out of you. The warmth of his hand relaxed your head and your body. He pulled you closer to his, resting your back to the side of his torso, his hand loosely wrapped around your waist and resting on your hip. I want to sleep too, Kenma yawned. Finish the problem first and then sleep. Curls slid the notebook toward his childhood friend, a clear sigh coming from him, and then he looked back down to you, seeing your face close up, close up. Rest well, he mumbled to the crown of your head, letting your eyes rest instead of waking up to see the bags beneath your eyes. How comfortable you were resting against him. He rubbed your hip a little before continuing his, le his lesson with Kenma, working through the problem, keeping his voice down not to wake you. And that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it if you did. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did subscribe, welcome to the family. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,